What's up everybody and just a quick update on what's going on uh, periodically I'll be doing this uh, we've got a lot of things going on actually we've got uh, the furnaces being set up for flat or for call uh, what do you call it um, I'll get it out in a minute stone we got getting it ready for stone uh, I do I did find a boatload of uh, iron in the mine that I found uh, that I in the strip mine that I created and we'll go over there real quick so I can show you uh, but first this is some of it right here I got a good amount I'm actually gonna take uh, tell you what we'll take 32 we'll split that back up that'll give us another put that one back in there. 3, 6, 9, 12. So actually we need we need more than that. But I think I've got some over at the other place. I haven't pulled the armors out yet, just in case. Uh, the villagers are still alive, thank God. Uh, what else? But real quick, let me show you what's going on. Fuck, I hate you goats. You eat everything. On the ground. In the air. They eat everything. So basically I set up a shed for uh, my mining area. And uh, if you didn't know, if you put a trap door first, and then you put a door, the uh, zombies cannot break in. I have chickens for some reason. Uh, but let's go down here real quick, show you what's going on. Uh, this is the underground part where I offload my uh, cobblestone, and then a bed, of course. I can't, still can't move the beds, so I'm guessing in an adventure mode you do not move your beds. So, uh, that's some kind of cave, I don't know. And of course, uh, put the steps in using the cobblestone. Um, but, uh, you should hear some zombie noises here shortly. Uh, there's part of the mine shaft that I found that I have not explored yet. Uh, because I just went straight into needing to build a wall for the villagers. I lost four of them. I don't know how, but I lost four of them. So, uh, here we go. And when I was coming through, guess what? Z dungeon, but gets better. Zombie dungeon and cave spider dungeon. And I blocked this off because there was a damn werewolf in there. And I wasn't interested in messing with him. I haven't touched any of the chests, so there you go. That's what's in that chest. And that's what's in that chest. Ooh, blast protection. That's nice. And a saddle. I could come in handy. Uh, if you didn't know, in the Simple Ores mod, you can make a copper bucket. I do not believe you can pick up lava with it. You can pick up water, but not lava. Uh, so let's go down to, first of all, let me show you uh, what we, what I have done. I basically dug, 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 dug till I hit bedrock. Here we go. There's the bedrock. And this is a cave, but it's not a cave. It's like a water pond, so I think I'll use that for something. I don't know. And I may not keep, uh, keep this area for my... Uh, strip mine. I may do the, the strip mining underneath and attach it. I don't know yet. So yeah, basically this is where all the cobblestone's been coming from. I've been keeping this area open. A lot of mobs come through here, so it gives me a little free loot right there. And then, uh, as you can see, it just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going. Oh, my water. Get out of it. So there you go. Uh, I haven't picked the diamonds up yet. I haven't picked any of this. This is not emerald. This is actually, uh, dang, this is part of the, is this emerald? I can't remember if this is emerald or not. It's either emerald or it's part of the Simple Ores mod. I can't remember. Uh, that's the Simple Ores mod. Of course, you've seen the copper. And then, uh, we got a bunch of redstone. This came out to a dead end. There's a bunch of just caves around here. So I will be I will sooner or later get this stuff, but right now my main goal is to get the wall up for the villagers. Uh, there's just caves everywhere in this, in this seed, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't done a lot of exploring on this guy on this uh, mine shaft because it goes that way. And that's where the werewolf was at, so I'm not too interested in messing with him. Uh, the shed. Uh, it basically was set up because I got tired of getting attacked by werewolves that were, well, the zombies would break down the door and the werewolves would 
uh, just come in and rape me. So I just got tired of it and said, you know what, screw it, I'll just build a, a shed. So, yeah, there you go. That's what's been going on. So, see you soon. Okay, guys. Oh, shit. So, real quick. Uh, use the lava bucket trick to get the lava, to get the flames going here. And, uh, I, I for the wall, I'm going to change it up a little. I'm going to put, um, this type of block in, uh, the stone brick. Because it actually yields more than your average uh, smooth stone so that actually provides more uh, more girth for what we need and uh, so yeah uh, but like I said I was going I'm going to continually try to update you guys on what I'm doing uh, throughout the this recording uh, but yeah that that seems like a perfect perfect thing I just have to go and oh. Uh, I just now take all that down and recook it again. Alright. Alright guys, just a quick update on what's going on. I have started the uh, building of the wall. Uh, getting it a little complicated since I had to put the cobblestone fencing up. It is slowing down progression, so I've had to literally wait for the sun to almost be ready to go down. Run over to the room. Has a bed in it get in the room, sleep before the ogres come out, they are going to be a problem. I can see that right now. Uh, because they can basically break anything. I think, and I'm going to experiment, not around the village, uh, to see if they can actually break obsidian. It would be kind of interesting to see if they can break obsidian. If they can't break obsidian, then uh, I am going to have to uh, borrow... Uh, a YouTuber's name by uh, Dataless. Uh, data, Dataless. There we go. Data. I think I said it. it's D A T E L E S S. Uh, I believe eight two two. I'll have to make sure to look it up. But uh, if you di type in Dataless uh, in YouTube. You will get his uh, you get his YouTube page, and uh, he showed uh, on his YouTube page how to make an obsidian generator using redstone, lava, and uh, p uh, pistons. <laughs> Excuse me. So, oh shit, Jesus! Time to go. Get in bed. Get in bed. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. God dang it! Where's he at? Can I get... Oh, crap. He's nearby. Oh, man, this is not good. Is there a villager still in here? Hello, villager. Yeah, you're still there. Where is there a monster? There's no monster over here. Ugh. Dang it. Bet you I know where he's at. Bet you he's. I gotta do something about this. Get my. Maybe I can make it over to the house without being spotted. So far, so good. Nope, there's something behind me. It's a zombie. That's a skeleton. That's the skeleton shooting me. That's the skeleton saying, getting the words, suck it. This is what I'm talking about. It's been like this the entire time. The entire time. Yeah. What's it like, huh, bitch? Yeah. Eat me. Chickens, you're not doing your job. You're supposed to be protecting the place. My god. What have been up to? I can sleep now. Yes! I can sleep. Burn, baby, burn. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to test it. i got two obsidian. I'm just going to go find a... A, uh... A willing candidate, shall we call it. Uh, to experiment on. So we'll see. Anyways. 
Uh, that's all I got for now. So, until next time. Ah, get up out of the thing. Anything in here? No. Good. Uh, see you around.